and welcome to additive manufacturing and 3D printing using ANSYS SpaceClaim. In this course, we are going to cover the basics of additive manufacturing and 3D printing with 3D modeling basics and everything you need to get started with 3D printing and 3D modeling. For the purpose of this course, the 3D modeling software that we will be using will be ANSYS SpaceClaim. In this lesson, we'll be covering the basics of creating geometry in ANSYS SpaceClaim. So, what will we cover? We'll be covering an overview of 3D printing, an overview of 3D modeling, and an overview of the ANSYS SpaceClaim work environment and all the basics that we need to get started creating our 2D and later 3D geometry. The learning objectives are going to be getting a basic understanding of what 3D printing and 3D modeling is, getting a basic understanding of how to create basic geometry, and getting familiar with the ANSYS SpaceClaim workspace interface and all the different tools you can use to get started. 3D printing overview. So, what is 3D printing? Well, 3D printing, or more formally known as additive manufacturing, is creating a physical part from a 3D model using a layer by layer building or manufacturing method. Pretty much a good example to think about of 3D printing is similar to when you build something out of Lego where you place a piece at the bottom and then another piece on top of that and so on and so forth until you end up with your completed model. The same analogy applies to 3D printing. So we get a 3D model, we slice it into several different layers, and we share this data information model with the 3D printing technology that we have chosen. And the 3D printer starts by building each layer on top of each other until it finishes our workpiece. This is the main concept behind 3D printing. However, there are many different technologies and techniques that we can use to achieve this. We'll discuss all of these later on in the course. 3D modeling. So we've touched upon 3D modeling, but what is it really? So as you might have noticed, before we are able to 3D print something, we need to conceptualize what that item is. In order to do this, we can either import a 3D model that already exists that we wish to 3D print or create our own 3D model of what we wish to have. So in essence, you cannot 3D print something if you do not have a representation of that thing. What we actually do is we create a 3D model or we import a 3D model. And once we have that model, we can process that 3D CAD information and adapt it specifically for it to be 3D printed. Understanding this means that it is virtually impossible to be involved or actually 3D print without having at least a basic knowledge of 3D modeling. Because in essence, when we are 3D printing something, we either need to repair or fix a 3D model before it is 3D printed, or we need to edit specific features of the model to make it more suitable to 3D printing as you will see later on in the course. Considering the broad depth 
of 3D printing and 3D modeling, you will be able to find a lot of online resources, forums, and CAD sharing websites such as my personal favorite thingiverse.com, where all different kinds of people from all over the world can share their own CAD models or representations for personal use. So there is a wide plethora of online resources that you can use in your 3D printing adventure. However, it is still very important to understand the basic principles of 3D modeling in order to alter the designs to suit your specific purpose or to create your own specific designs to meet your needs. Obviously, as is normal when you are writing a book report or an essay, you would use Microsoft Word, or when you are preparing a presentation, you would use Microsoft PowerPoint. When you are preparing 3D CAD models, you need to use some kind of 3D modeling software. Obviously, there are many different programs or software available that can be used to do this, most of which have similar features and controls that you can use to navigate, edit, and create. For this course, however, we'll be focusing on ANSYS Space Claim to cover and learn the basics of 3D CAD creation, viewing, and editing in the context of 3D printing. However, all the skills and tools that we learn in this course can be applied to other 3D modeling programs or software.